On this copy tip, I'm going to show you six different ways of entering your books into the database at lightning speed to impress your friends and make using the program a little bit more fun. Now, a lot of people, when they first see Connor Bay's, say, wow, there's a lot going on here. Where do I even start? And it's true. I mean, there's over half a million issues built right into the program when you start, and our guys are adding a couple thousand more every month just to keep up with all the wacky goings on in the world of comic books. Now, the reason they do all this, and the reason they build so much information in the program, is to make it so that you really don't have to do that much when you want to put your own collection in. They've already put in all the writers and artists and what was special about the issues and keeping up with the current market prices, so when you have to put your own books in, there's really not that much you have to do. Let's take a stack of books over here. I've got Batman and Robin's second series number 12. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look him up in comic base and enter him in. So I'm going to click the titles button up here. I'm going to say Batman and Robin. And notice how as soon as I type the first couple letters, it automatically chases up to where I want to go. So it really gets me there very quickly. Here's the second series. And if you'll notice, despite all this information in the database, all the quantities all start out at zero and the conditions all start out at near mint. And so this is, makes it very easy just to add your own book by let's find issue number 12 here. You're going to change that quantity from a 0 to a 1, boom, and I am done. It is actually that simple. And Compass keeps track of the current values every week as we figure out the marketplace, as well as all new artist and writer updates as we go along. So really there's nothing else for you to do if you don't want to. Now, Sometimes, though, you want to get a little more detailed, and like, so issue number 13 over here, I, I don't really like the shape of it. It looks, you know, maybe very fine at best to me. So I'm going to click on this guy here, and I'm going to double click and open up and show you everything we keep in mind about a given issue. So this is a lot of stuff we track for every single issue in the database, but what I'm interested in particular on this one is the price and, and the conditions. So notice how this one's worth about 275 on the selling price if it was going to be a near mint condition, but in very fine, which is I'm just going to say it was what it is, it's only worth about $1.75. It updated that price the second I updated the condition. I'm going to set the quantity in stock to be 1 in this case, and boom, mark that again, and I'm done with that one. Now, I can be as detailed or as not detailed and you know, as fast as I want with the entry. You know, it really depends on what kind of comics books you're tracking and, and really your own personal style. Now, my personal style, I'm a little OCD about my books, and most of my books come in in your main condition. So what I have is I usually have to keep my books in order and they're all together together so what I can do then is I can take big runs of things like I've got Batman now I've got 14 through 17 left in this pile here I can just say alright I'm gonna select all of these ones over here and if I click in this left hand column just highlight them all at once and hit a key on my keyboard one of the number keys from 0 to 9 by hitting one, I just marked all of those four at once as being in stock. I could have hit two if I had doubles of them, or you know, nine if I'm crazy and I keep nine of each. It really doesn't matter. I also could use the plus and the minus keys to increment or decrement the amount of books I have for each one of those. And that's really by far the fastest way to enter books in your database. Now my fourth one is quick change. Now, these ones in this case, I would usually show you quick change to mark them as being in inventory. In this case, I'm going to use quick change to show you something else. It's a little bonus. I'm going to go into the edit menu, choose quick change or control G on my keyboard. And in this case, I'm going to say I bought all these ones at a flea market for $1.50. So I'm going to change not the quantity, but the cost field to $1.50 and hit save. And you'll notice it moves that $1.50 down across all the ones I've already selected. If I've got a lot of things to change for books that I've already selected, it's a great way to do things one after another and change a lot of different values for the same books. Sometimes it's really hard to know what is the right name for a comic book, so why not let the comic book itself tell you? In this case, you'll want a comic book barcode scanner. And what we'll do here is we'll read the barcode scan right off the book and not have to do all that title navigation at the start. To do it instead, I'll use the edit menu's jump to issue command or control J on the keyboard. In this case, all I have to do is take this book, scan the barcode, and uh, I don't have to type anything. It takes me straight to Flash Fourth Series number 19. It's already highlighted, so to add it to my inventory, all I have to do, boom, punch a one, and we're done. Or, if I really wanted to you know, kick the whole thing into hyperdrive, my last tip of the day is I'm going to go, if I have the archive or professional editions of Compass, I'm going to use the batch add comics to inventory command or control I on my keyboard. And this lets me run a whole bunch of comic books just like I was running a cash register at a supermarket, where I'm going to come under them and just one after another. 
batch barcode scan them and I don't need to steer anywhere, it'll automatically assume that they're in near mint condition and that my cover price was my cost. I can change what it assumes is my cover price in the preferences of Comicbase, but in this case I really am all done. This is what I've got and I just want to sit down and enjoy my comics. So I'm going to hit save and it'll add them all and that's it. And if you enjoyed the steps, come on back to comicbase.com on a regular basis and better yet hit the subscribe button which the folks in post are putting over my head right now. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon.